Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to LTBS TV. I'm Sports Hire, and today we got a great game. It's a swimming meet, uh, Lawrence versus Robinsville, classic rivalry. Uh, it's senior night today. I have some swimmers with us today. Uh, Matt Demont, uh, Matt, what's what's at stake here? Uh, so yeah, today's a pretty important meet. It's senior night. We're gonna go out, swim our best. Hopefully, uh, uh, swim swim well in, in, uh, in honor of the seniors that are graduating this year. And yeah, hopefully, I mean, we had a pretty good run so far this year. I think it would be. Very good for the seniors this year if we uh, if we swim well for them today. That's good, um, Liam. How well have you? Um, what really? Um, do good in here. Liam, what what does I this know. mean for the team if you win like in a senior night like tonight? That would mean everything to me because like it's it's my last home regular season meet. Like I'm a senior, so like. It's just like we gotta go out and get this dub. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah. And uh, Dylan Morris is yeah. out. Uh, Dylan, what happened uh, here? Oh, so you know, kind of just uh, rolled my ankle a little, but I fell on my foot. It was pretty bad. I'm a klutz, so that's why. Um, really, um, what do you uh, wish any luck or like any advice to the yeah, you know swimmer, um, swimmers today? The seniors, they put four years into this. You know, I just want them to have the best opportunity they can. You know. Rounds was a great opponent to have that, you know, drop time. That's all that matters. And stage is coming up soon, so go, Lawrence. All right, then. Just a, just a quick shout-out to our captains, uh, Tristan Kurbishley and Sebastian Centeno. They've done a great job. All right. Job. All right, thank you. All right. Uh, shout-out, uh, shout-out, Mom, Dad, all the pairs. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. should be an exciting one, and I can't wait to bring it to you. Today's first event is the girls 200 medley relay swimming for Robbinsville in lane 3, Johnson, Moran, Lou, and Emmanuel. In lane 5, Akara, Adu, Chang, and Saja. In lane 1, Peterson, Vila, Lou, and Catalina. Swimming for Lawrence in lane 4, Gutierrez, Pollock, Thorpe, and Haas. In lane 2, Uwar, Little, Caveline, and Ginocchio. In lane 6, Shetty, Lily, Anand, and Carmaker. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lawrence Swimming. I'm Sports here and today is a special guest, a good friend of mine, Dylan Morris. Dylan, hey guys, nice to me. see. You. Nice to see you today, Dylan. Um, right now we're doing the two method relay. The girls, of course. Right in now. In lane, we're in lane four. We're in lane two. We're in lane six. Right now, Anya's in the lead, and Sarah's in the lead. Anya Shetty's in the lead. Shetty's in the lead. Sarah Kuar's coming up. We're right now we're in we're third in lane and four. Fourth. Lane four. All right. So it appears now Lawrence. We're in the breaststroke. Lawrence is now trailing now already. Um, in the lead here is in the lead here for Robbinsville is I believe um, Gory Madu. She's in the lead. And uh, so far this season, Dylan, you know. Um, the girls had some struggles, right? Yes. Did you go? Wait, no. They go. They've been doing the best they can, so boy. Yes, they have. But um, as opposed to the boys, you know, they had um, some ups and downs, probably due to some of you know uh, losses of uh, important key players in this uh, program, mm -hmm. like Haley Simpson. She was a, a great uh, athlete. What yeah. can you tell me about that? Oh, Anuta just took, just came back for Lawrence. All right, now. Kelly Calvin and now Lawrence is Siobhan Thornton are in the pool. All right. Um, going back to what you said, Sabor. Uh, the girls are having a great season, man. They're doing the best they can with the summers they got, and they've been dropping time ever since. So that's good. Excellent. And I'm in the lead now is Alyssa Liu in the lead. So you know, have um, oh, great teams like this. That looks like a false start. In lane false three. start by there. They don't cover no false starts here. This is not football. All right, so. Hey, Siobhan, go. Kelly, go. So, all the way down now. Robbinsville in the lead. Deep in the lead here. And Lawrence is behind, I believe, third place right now. 
So lane in four is in third. Lane he four. making a comeback, though. Comeback indeed. And that's something that I like uh, to see about these players. You know, they try so hard. And sometimes, you know, you get a lot of comeback. You know, just because you're down a little bit, you know, they might be ahead of you. They put in all their effort and they put it and they try getting that lead. That's incredible. Yeah. The amount of energy and amount of uh, work they put in here. It's pretty incredible. Hours and hours of swimming practice. Hard Con swimming constantly. practice. Constantly. And, you know, as a player, what is it... What's going through your mind, you know, when you're, when you're like actually swimming? What are you, what are you doing? When you swim, the one thing in your mind is just trying to beat the person on the other team next to you. And can you ever tell like how? Oh, am I ahead or am I? Or if you just like focus on your own personal time. Um, pretty much, you could like look next to you, but that's bad. So you face on like walls and kicking in front of you like bubbles. You can base everything the off that. Let's see. The boys 200 medley relay, swimming four, Robbinsville in lane three, Gould, Foley, Panetto, and Middleton. In lane five, Margotes, Gray, Affirm, and Kenna. In lane one, Goswami, Damascio, Canares, and Mather. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Sukach, Wang, Gutierrez and Keen. In lane two, Centino, Devon, Smith, and Nav. In lane six, Altima, Zolt, Lily, and Gutierrez. All right. All right, here we go. All right, now the boys' turn for the 200 relay. And a key. relay. Medley relay, boys turn, and already we're off to an amazing start here. It appears it's a competitive one between lane two, three, and four. Andrew Sukach is in the lead. Sukach in the lead, down behind him now. What a beautiful flip turn. Is Alex Morgettis. And I think, uh, much like yourself. There you go, Sebastian, go. And Sebastian Janikowski in the lead as well, and... Matt DeMott in the pool, and Ian Wang. Ian Wang entering the pool. Mr. Ian Wang, great athlete. Uh, much like, uh, I want to talk, you know, uh, about what kind of role here Andrew Sukoc plays. Is, as a player, and he can probably relate to you, do you feel like an another, another personal goal, um, knowing that the fact that your brother swam here as well last year, do you have any, like, personal set goals? Uh, for swimming as well. Swimming? Yeah, any personal goals knowing that the fact that your brother, um, he did successful in swimming. I wish that I didn't get injured. That was a main goal. But, I was unlucky. Um, another goal, just be the best person you could be, you know? You know what I mean, Sabo? Yes, I do. Always doing the best of your ability is what's What? All right, all right. Anyways. What? Yeah, continue, continue. All right, all right. Anyways, back. So now. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now. Now in the lead here, Lawrence, and they did a great job. As for this season, they've done an excellent job, you know, maintaining the lead. And, you know, we had a lot of great breakout players, you know, always coming in there and dominating the lead. So it's incredible to see there. And Matt, some... That was Liam Keane. Liam Keane in first. Second is Russell Nab. Third is... Uh, we're going to go... Brandon... Brandon Kenna. Braden Kenna. Yeah. All right. And all set now, Lawrence. So here we, all right. So one more lap to go here for Nottingham, which has been an excellent run so far. The boys really have dominated here so far. Good to see them open up with an early lead and play well, and that's inc incredible. All right, just about to finish here for Robbinsville. And in the end, no. Dane Milton. Two, Dane Milton. All right, ends it here.
The next event is the girls 200 free swimming Evansville in lane three, Ocalis, in lane five, Lichtenstein, in lane one, Hopwalk. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Thornton, in lane two, Little, in lane cave line. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Senior swimming for the last time, Siobhan Thornton. Doing her last 200 freestyle. Incredible, to, you know how well each and every. Incredible to see, you know how well these guys play. You know over the course of the year, it's nice to you know have a nice home meet to finish it off here. And uh, you know I think really the girls are really gonna try you know as hard as you can because all the year, all the time, you put in all your effort in, and now everything now pays off here. Mm -hmm. it's your final one, incredible. There's we also have, we still have states. Yeah, states is, is exactly what is it? So states is really and both sides are gonna make states. They're going to make states. I remember how impressive the boys did last year. I don't know about the girls, but boys had a nice uh, home. Girls had a good run too. Good, yeah. Both uh, tragic to see how. Uh, well, I believe it ended in Neptune. It was a tie too. Or no, not tie. We lost by my, 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 ten points. I do, but yeah, it so it was a it close was one. Close. You see, the boys kept it very close. I remember the only tie they had last season was a quick tie with um, with Notre Dame. It was impressive. That was a big tie. Somewhere. Big tie right there. It's always, you know, you know, you got rivalries like that. Robbinsville is a good rival because you got meaning and depth in, in these rivals. So it's incredible to see. Who else do we have swimming is... Um, Sonia Little and Kelly Coblin. Sonia Little and Kelly Coblin, very interesting... Uh, to see these couple of things. Sonia Little and Kelly Common, both good additions to the team last year. Uh, you know, also, you know, still developing as players. You know, you got your veterans, which are the seniors, and you got, you know, some of your sophomores. They're still developing into their role. By junior, you know, you know, they're almost veterans, and they know what to do. Yeah. It's kind of a working role almost. Yeah. You get better and better each year, Sabo. Yes. Determination and hard work at practice gets you better. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. They just fixed the score. The boys. 12 2. And the girls. 2 12. So, great Kinda start. Great start for the boys. Uh, girls, a little more work, but again. Early in the meet, you know, I remember, you know, sometimes, you know, you start slow in these meets. But always later, you know, you build up momentum and you build up the lead, and that's incredible to see. Yes, it was. Once. All right, they've been taking like five minutes. They're ready now. Here we go, girls turn for the 200 freestyle. 200 freestyle, incredible. And now here we go, early lead now for Robbinsville. That's, that's per, an early lead for Robbinsville. That is Mandy, Courtney Polkolos. Courtney Polokas in the lead here. Siobhan's taking up with their second place. Incredible, and it's also good to see this. When you are, um, you know, when you don't have the, the first seat, it's nice to see how much effort they're gonna put in to try getting at least two or third. To try and build up something, make sure the score is at their favor at least. Six points though gets you the, the lead here, so it'll be incredible. However, girls are keeping it close, and it's a tight one there for second place, as it is Robbinsville, that is Mandy, Lichstein and next to her is Saiba Saban Thornton. Thornton now taking the lead for second place. And Thornton now crosses and it's still really competitive between these two. I think really those turns are really key because when you do two turns like that, it really is important to see how much ground you can pick off after each turn. I've seen like so many relays where you know you have the turn like that. 
And after every turn, you know, yeah, you, you build up enough ground to even try taking the lead here. And Thornton now really neck and neck. It's incredible to see uh, what the battle he has to do for second place. Um, really important for the girls here, uh, for Thornton to you know get the second place spot and try building something here for Lawrence. Uh, try making a comeback here. There you go, Siobhan. So Thornton all the way down. Siobhan Thornton now trying to compete with with the uh, Polk Polkas. However, Lestine is right on her tail. Got to go. Com com and I think really it's it's so hard to um it's very difficult to you know get game momentum when you when someone's on, like ahead of you. You know what do you try doing? Like if they're like ahead of you, what do you try doing? You can try catching them when you're both swimming at like the same pace. What is it? What are some methods you guys uh you know, what are some methods you do to try and you know get faster or try get you know um, building some ground? Definitely kick. Definitely kick. Something I don't do. Um, you could also do great turns, like you said, some more good flip turns, and just pretty much just pacing the other person next to you. you know? That's all that matters. Getting that done. All right, excellent job here as one and two. So first place goes to Robbinsville. Second place goes to Thornton. Third place goes to Robinsville. <coughs> Robbinsville. Fourth place goes to Lawrence. Fifth and place goes to the boys 200 free. Swimming for Robbinsville in lane three, Kushnor, in lane five, Dashi, in lane one, Conroy. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Yuckmau, in lane two, Illidan, in lane six, Lily. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Things. Boys 200 freestyle. By the way, uh, Dylan, who is taking the uh, majority of your, uh, how, because you're out, who's, how are they going to, you know, replace you in terms um, of relays? Gabe's probably not happy, but Gabe's taking my spots. What spots do you normally swim in? I usually swim the 2IM, which is coming up next, the, either the 400 or the one breast. All right, so now a close one, a now competitive one here as the boys take it here early. And um, boys with an uh, amazing lead now. And who are some seniors that you want to highlight? No seniors. No seniors, really? All junior, two juniors and a freshman. It's, all right, so we got Will Yumchow, Jordan. Yuckmau. Yuckmau. And John Elden in one John team. Elden. But really ben racing for third. All right, so Ben racing for three here. Ben as it is competitive. As a freshman here, so a rookie. So he's kind of new to this, as you were too last year. Um, so, you know, building the role. I didn't swim that much last year, so Yeah, I didn't see him. Um, but really, um, what can you really expect from uh, freshmen like Ben Lilly? Um, it's all about commitment for freshmen, you know? Like, usually freshmen that do like one sport are usually like great at that sport. So, yeah. A lot of freshmen though are multi-athletes as you are too. Yeah. Black spider. And really, um, how does it, how do you balance out all three sports? You're, you're again a cross country runner, a swimmer, and a lack. So how exactly do you prepare for every single sport? Um, Pretty much, I just like use the momentum from my last sport and build that up for like momentum for my new sport. You know, I do like three sports just to stay in shape. And really, how different is it? Um, because you know you do cross, you do cross country. Now you have a whole season indoors. So oh, Ben Lilly's doing a great job. Ben Lilly almost staying in three. Incredible job. But really, how different is it when you find that you're swimming here and it's indoors? How different is it to you? Is it like a you know shot in the mouth or something? Go, Ben. Go. Ben nearly going there, and he takes third. So Robinsville fourth. comes fourth, fourth, he takes fourth. fourth, fourth spot. Robinsville comes in in third and in fifth. So, uh, Dylan, how does it really? How do you um, when you go to lax after spending like about three or four months, you know, indoors? Really, what what does it feel like? You know, finally getting outdoors again. What does it really feel? Um, Sibora, well, I don't play center court. Well, I do sometimes, 
but mostly I just prepare on my own for the fun. The next event is the girls 200 IM. Brooke Robbins lane three here girls, five blue to lane go. Swimming front to lane four Pollock, in lane two Shetty, in lane six Lily. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Senior Nuna Pollock in lane Pollock four. Pollock in lane four. And Robbinsville. And senior Jordan Lilly in lane six. Jordan Lilly and Nuna Pollock in there. So three guys, three people. Robbinsville in the lead now. Taking the lead here. Real, and the update, quick score update here. 921 for the girls. 24-6 the boys. Girl, boys comfortable lead here. Girls got to do a little bit of catching up. But it's all right. And especially, I think really, when you're down, um, I think it's, I mean, from my standpoint as the analyst, I think really when you're down, and it's not too far, I don't think it's that too far off, but really when you're down, doesn't it really motivate you to do better and like, you know, I gotta do better, especially since you have individual meets. You know, you wanna, when you're down, you know, it makes you really intrigued. I think, I think personally, I think it's probably better when you're down because you, you know that you're you're already down some points. You're not down by that much. So well, you're not, exactly, not down, but but you know you're down points and you want to do better. Rather than you're up, you know you want to you might be like a little laid back and all that. It might yeah. be it's not as much as the pressure. So but I think the competition's still there. So competition's cool. always there, Dylan. Always there. But it's always but the competition had a higher stake really when you are um, had a higher stake when you're down. No one because you're all about the motivation to do much better. In there. All right, so now Pollock backstroking here in Robbinsville alone here in the lead, taking the top two spots. And now... And there's a fight for third between Anya Shetty and the girl from Robbinsville in lane one. Entering the breaststroke. Entering the breaststroke, breaststroke. And when you do like items like this, how different... Um, it's, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys practice this all the time, but is it easy, um, you know, switching, you know, you're swimming, like, are you, you know, you have... Um, it's, I believe that the 2 IM is easier than the 2-3 because you're able to keep track of what you do, you know? So you're not like, you don't know what lap you're on or anything, you know what I mean? Swim? See, they're swimming, you know how they're swimming right now. How does it feel, you know, when you have to switch positions and all that? Is it really difficult, you know, when you have to do backstroke and, and then go back to free? How different? From back to breast? Yeah, back to breast. I mean, there's like... That's probably one of the hardest turns, yeah. So, under pressure. That's why 2 IM is one of the hardest events. Is that turn. one of the key things you guys practice there, you know, when, when you have like stuff like that? Uh, when we do like stroke lanes, yes. We work on turns for our sh individual strokes. I believe, yeah, turns are very important. I believe, of course, you know, you know, getting your time in all the time. And in first place is Robbinsville. Second place is Robbinsville again. Third place here, battle. And it appears Robbinsville get third place. Maybe not. Anya picking up the Anya pace. Shetty getting his speed and third place Robbinsville. Good effort though by Anya Shetty. And back in fifth there is uh, Anuna Pollock. Anuna Pollock in fifth. And in sixth place will be um, Jordan Lilly. Jordan Lilly. So incredible job for these swimmers. Score and Jordan is finishing now. Jordan up, finishing up, and that will take us to the end of that one. And she's a senior as well. So interesting to see how that goes. The next event is the boys 200 IM. Swimming for Robbinsville in lane three, Bloom. In lane five, Foley. In lane one, Gray. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Herbishley. In lane two, Gutierrez. In lane six, Smith. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Now starting the boys 2 IM. In lane 3, 4, Tristan Kerbishley, a senior. In lane 2, Gabe Gutierrez, a senior. Both interesting to see them play. Senior night is also um, 
I believe it's the key night here because it's so important because, you know, it's like the night where you're honored and remembered for everything that you've done all year, yes. all four years. So it is a special night. It's kind of the night where you really want to win and get the W because of how much. Senior night's the best night, I think, personally. Personally, yes. Because of how much you did, it's only interesting to see. Beautiful turn by Tristan Kerbyshee. Beautiful Kirby turn. And Tristan Kerbyshee now doing backstroke. And Gabe Gutierrez as they have a easy, uh, a decent lead here as a uh, two, two, um, two man lead here. Robbins will do keep it kicking up speed here. Gabe and Tristan battling for first. Gabe and Christian now battling for first. Matt Students. Smith in fourth place. And sometimes, you know, when you have a good sizable lead here, uh, I remember the boys have sizable leads most of the time. Uh, but when you do that, you also want to have certain special, you know, set special records for yourself as well. Better times than when you're going in the swimming, right? Mm -hmm. Some special records. Now entering the breaststroke. Breaststrokes. Like your personal times in there, you want to make sure, you know, get, get maybe caught, pops off some records. Uh, any records that were broken this year or anything? To, uh, to um, records were close to be broken. MCTs is where records are usually broken, but unfortunately there's no records broken this year. <laughs> How did MCTs go for y'all? Um, MCTs, they went okay. For me especially, I did too poorly. I felt sick, so I didn't do too well. How about for the whole team? You guys went The whole team, we did, we did expected. We did what we were suspected to do. And so did you get a trophy or something after that um, one? Unfortunately, we didn't get a trophy. Only the top three teams got trophies. The boys, I believe, placed seventh, and the girls, I believe, placed eighth. I might be wrong, though. All right. Finishing off here now is the boys, Tristan and Gabe, go on for the lead. And it appears Kristen Francis is in first, second is Gabe. Third. And uh, Robinsville, fourth now is... Matt Smith. Matt Smith in fourth. Robinsville finishing fifth and sixth. Third and fifth, all right. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. The next event is the girls 53, swimming for Rogersville in lane three, Emmanuel, in lane five, Manu, in lane one, Seizure. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Moss, in lane two, Ginocchio, in lane six, Gutierrez. Fifty-three. Girls, fifty. All right, here we go. Five. Girls, fifty freestyle. This, this is usually, from. This race is usually closest because of the short distance. And because of how, and this is really the most competitive one because it's so close and close and competitive. All right, here we go. Lawrence look like they're in the lead. Oh. Isa Moss fighting for. Isa Moss in the lead. However, Robinsville to gain momentum here. He's a must, and now it looks like Kalina Genicio is in the lead. And whatever. And Kalina gets first place, second is uh, Lawrence. Second is Robinsville, third is, third is, ah, uh, excuse me, third is Isa, fourth is, uh, fourth is Robinsville, fifth is that. So incredible job for the girls as they put a fast start and get their first win of the, of the mini relays today. And now we're taking a, oh, the boys to D freestyle, almost forgot. The next event is the boys 53, swimming for Robbinsville in lane three, Middleton, lane five, Chillip, in lane one, Calizares, swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Santino, in lane two, Blackman, six, Zaman. Matty Ice-T, alright. All right. What's his name, Sabor? Matty Ice-T. That's right, Matty Ice-T. Alright. So here we go, 500 free. 
Fort Lawrence again. It is Cameron. Uh, oh, it's a uh, Sebastian. Sebastian Kitento. Sebastian Kitento. Tukin is Cameron Blackman and and Maddie Ice T. Now here we go as Sebastian uh, as Cameron Blackman taking the lead here. Cameron Blackman. Sebastian is a notable senior on senior night. He's our captain. And that's incredible captain he is. And now, now it's Looks like boys are one, two, three. And now here we go. Cameron Blackman looks like he'll come in second. And third is... Matt DeMar. Matt, uh, Matty Ice-T coming in at... Matty Ice-T coming in at third. Second is... And Dane Sebastian Milton Contento. in fourth place. So incredible Sebastian. job. Incredible job by the boys as they continue to dominate. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Well, thank you everyone for coming out tonight and supporting the team throughout the rest of uh, the regular season. It's been very successful. And I like to think that it is such a success for all the support we have uh, through all the East. We always have people here to share us on and everything like that. So we just wanted to take a moment and recognize the seniors from the I'd like to introduce our uh, male uh, captains first. We'll start with uh, Tristan Kurdishman. Yeah. He's going to help this big event. He's just featured in the 200 IM. Yeah. 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 Sebastian Sertel. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to freestyle the master.
watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. The next event is the girls 100 fly, swimming for Robinsville in lane three, here move, in lane five, move, in lane one, the fly. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, move, in lane two, game line, in lane six, Anon. So the girls will step up on the starting blocks for the start of the 100 meter butterfly. And into the water they go. And it looks like lane three, Pier Boom with an early lead in this event. Although all the swimmers are very close together at this point. Pierbel will be the first to make the turn. Looks like over in lane five, Lou may have been second at the turn. As Robbinsville seems to have this event under control. Pierbel headed for the turn. A little bit of a slow turn there, but she's still got a healthy lead. Lou still swimming in second over there in lane five. But it seems to be Pier Boom all the way in lane three. Now Pier Boom headed back on the final leg of this 100 meter fly. No competition at all for her as she is well out in the lead. And in for the win comes Pierboom in lane three. Lane five, Lou will take second. Lane one, LaCroix will take third. And first in for Lawrence, it's going to be Lou in lane four, followed by Anand in six and Cowbline in two. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. All right, now the, we have the girls, the boys 100 IM, and already Lawrence with the early lead here. Was Andrew Sukoc, brother of Alexander Sukoc, good player. And up next, next to him is Will Yumchow. Yum, Yumchow, I think. Yumchow. For Andrew Sukoc, this is his senior year, so he has to really give it up his all and uh, try hard, you know, because this is the final game, maybe. So, really, there are times where you need to really put in A effort. This is like times where you gotta put A effort. In. Now to finish this off is Robbinsville. They take five and six. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. The next event is the girls 100 meter free. Swimming four, Robbinsville in lane three, Emmanuel. In lane five, Ocalis. In lane one, Raw. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Moss. In lane two, Pinocchio. For the girls. All right. 
yard. He's a must in the lead, but it's getting tight here. Now it appears Kalina Dinicho has the lead. Watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. The next event is the girls 400 free swimming for Robbinsville in lane three, Johnson in lane five, Moran in lane one, Picara. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Thornton in lane two, Kumar in lane six, Lily. Now, 
All right, now the girls have a sizable uh, deficit for the girls right now, as Robbinsville has the top two spots taken care of. Robinsville, you know, doing a good job. Now they're competing for the top spot here. Uh, again, uh, third spot here is uh, third spot is for third spot is I believe that is Sarah. Oh, no, not Sarah. Um, Cyber Thorn. This one is a time where you want to put in all your energy. Final lap here, Robbinsville. We're gonna have the final lap here. Spots Robinson takes. And ending it here for Lawrence.
Rocky, going for Heights down in lane three, Ushur, in lane five, Ray, in lane one, Kenna. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Herbishley, in lane two, Gutierrez, in lane six, Zoll. team they do the most work and they have to play hard and really execute and finish and it takes a lot of strength for each of them uh, to finish their job and them up uh, by another a lot more so that would be impressive and again they want to do again they're seniors and they really want to you know this is their last 500 uh, here at home so it's gonna be interesting to see how well they play So, final lap here for Tristan Kermersley as they'll end it here and take the lead and win it for Lawrence.
Tristan Carbersley coming in in first. In second is Gabe in third. up here as the boys take another one here. They win this uh, relay. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. The next event is the girls 200 free relay. Swimming for Robinsville in lane three. Beer room, Lichtenstein, Lahoo, and Sokolis. In lane five, Cesia, Greco, Lacroix, and Raw. In lane one, Hawk, McManus, Shaw and Pasco. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Pinocchio, Shetty, Thornton, and Moss. In lane two, Pollock, Lou, Anand, and Gutierrez. In lane six, All right. Will, Adongo, Carmaker, and D'Angelo. Robinsville. And now this jump is really important as and good lead here. Comes in and wins it for a The next event is the boys 
200 Crews, Kevin from Robinsville in lane 3, Doshi, Foley, Pilla, and Middleton. In lane 5, Ferb, Gore, Conroy, and Kushra, Kushnor, excuse me. In lane 1, Dimasco, Goswami, Melnick, and Mather. Swimming for Lawrence in lane 4, Yachtmau, Keen, Blackman, and Demont. In lane two, Smith, Illidan, Altima, and Kurdishly. trying to fight for the third spot. Third spot. And third spot. Alright, now here we go. And shot up there. All the way there now for the top spot. And Maddie Ice T now checking in for Lawrence. And Lawrence. comes in for the first. So first place, second place, Lawrence. So incredible job here by uh, Lawrence. As they look still to finish in first, as they take the top two spots, the top two spots. Third is a. Watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV.
good sizable. Lee Robinson has the top two spots comfortably. And the 500 backstroke. So the girls come in here and win the Tarabas of Cup spots. The next event is the boys 100 meter back. Folks swimming for Robbinsville in lane three, Martiotis in lane five, Pinetto in lane one, Leeds. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Santino in lane two, Zolf in lane six, Keen. Cardinal Sports Network here on LPBS TV. And Robinsville now looking to take the top three spots here. And they do. Top three spots go surrounding them. Excellent job there. And now, top three spots, excellent, excellent.
The next event is the boys 100 meter breaststroke, swimming for Robbinsville in lane three, Gould, in lane five, Foley, in lane one, Goswami. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Wang, in lane two, Devon, in lane six, Smith. All right, Dr. Ian Wing and Matty Ice team finish one now. Here we go. Dr. Ian Wang looks like he got the first spot. Oh, no, 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 it's close, it's close. Close one. Oh, it appears Robinsville actually has the lead. Robinsville with the lead. All right, all right. And Dr. Ian Wang in second. Second place is Robinsville. Matty, I see though, coming up close. A good turn by Dr. Ian Wang. Watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. The next event is the girls 100 meter freestyle relay. Swimming for Robinsville in lane three, Gilbu, Johnson, Emmanuel, and Pocalis. Lane five, Stock, Off, Sinja, and Lou. In lane one, McGeeboy, Watson, Keeley, and Franny. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Lily, Kular, Gutierrez, and Shetty. In lane two, Dave Line, Adango, D'Angelo, and Lou.
domination here and For the girls now, it's uh, no. Girls, it's um, I believe Ali Gutierrez will go. It here on the first place. Good job, uh, 123. The girls, the girls looks like um, they had a good run, and uh, that's that's all that matters. So first place is uh, Robinsville. And second place will probably be Lawrence. <coughs> second place Lawrence. Third place Robinsville. Fourth place Lawrence. Watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV.
Alright, now it's ended here as those will finish right here. And Alright. job for the guys today as they win it here. Phenomenal job by the guys. They take the W. Number one is lane four. Number Lawrence takes the top two spots here. Great job. Watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Oh, and that is the uh, final one here as Robbinsville comes in at final place. And that takes us to the end.
This concludes today's meet. Thank you very much for attending. Have a safe ride home, and we wish the boys and girls lots of luck in the state tournament.